Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from Steph Lee Films. I thought I was just here a couple of hours ago. Let me change a little bit of my outfit. So yesterday I uploaded this video and update 8.5.1 and today I'm uploading 8.5.2. Usually I don't do two videos in two days but I think this is pretty important because apparently for the update 8.5.1, some of the users have problems recording to their SSD from the USB-C port. And in fact, one of my viewers notified me almost immediately after I posted the video yesterday. So I tested it with my own SSD, the Samsung T5, but I was still able to do the usual recording. So I told him it was probably a problem with his hard disk. But Blackmagic Design acted on this pretty quickly. See, I've always had faith in Blackmagic Design because they release updates and equipments at an amazing speed. Anyway, sarcasm aside, really good job by the guys from Blackmagic Design to react quickly to this bug and releasing 8.5.2 almost immediately within 24 hours. So a quick run through on what you should do if you have installed 8.5.1 for the official Blackmagic Design notes. Similarly, go down to the link here below to download the latest firmware update 8.5.2 I will also post it on the description itself so minimum system requirements for Mac and Windows here I won't read it because you can read it yourself but there's one point that I want to highlight is the advice here on installing the ATEM software before installing the software we recommend that you run uninstall ATEM first so I think uninstalling the existing version remove any potential remains and then doing a fresh install of the 8.5.2 should be safer so before i sign off let me do a quick update on my own version first and let me confirm on my end that my ssd are recording as it should Yes, it does and hopefully it works for your SSD. Again, it could be because of this particular brand that I use, the Samsung T5 SSD. And so far, I've not faced any of the issues that others are facing. So I think this is a pretty good SSD to have. So there you have it. A quick video on the update 8.5.2 released from Blackmagic Design a day after they released the seemingly buggy 8.5.1. So if you haven't installed any of these updates yet, just go straight for 8.5.2. If not, uninstall your existing version and go for the new one. So do check out more videos from my channel here. If you want to learn more about photography and videography or learn about the latest updates from Blackmagic Design like this episode, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.